Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. Some people try to make others feel gratitude with such reminders as people are starving in Africa. Alas, too often that goes in one ear and, well, you know, out the other. Perhaps the following will be more helpful. Our life expectancy at birth is 75 for men, 80 for women. Uh, merely one century ago, it was 60 for men, 62 for women. Uh, I must admit, as a man, it's um, dispiriting to see that the gap, the gap in longevity has gone from two years to over five, um, and yet all we hear about is women's health issues, but I digress. Um, we not only, these, by the way, these are examples of bases for gratitude that I think are worth, uh, uh, that are more, more useful perhaps than uh, people are starving in Africa. We, another example is we not only live longer, we live more comfortably. When I grew up, only the rich had air conditioning, for example. Now most people and most workplaces and stores do. Speaking of stores, if I wanted to buy, say, a shirt, it meant getting in the car, driving in traffic, uh, parking, um, searching stores in hopes of having uh, something I really like and in my size. Now, a few clicks, um, enormous choices that are easy to, easy to access, uh, and it's at my door often the next day. Think of how we've benefited from technology. For example, Google search can get us virtually whatever information or entertainment that we want instantly. I recall when I was growing up, getting what I wanted to know required a trip to the library, well, sometimes the World Book Encyclopedia. When I wanted to watch a movie, I had to pay and park at a theater at a specific time. If I wanted to watch a TV series' next episode, I had to wait a week and be in front of my black and white 19-inch TV at that specified time. Now I can binge watch as many episodes as I like, whenever I want, on my 55-inch color set, which costs 400 bucks, about the same in today's dollars as that 19-inch black and white did. When I wanted to write something, I needed to have my whiteout ready or erasable paper as well as my scissors for cutting and pasting paragraphs. Now all that editing is done effortlessly in Word and even directly in an email. Speaking of email, if I wanted to write something, paper, pen, envelope, stamp, go to the mailbox, wait days for the recipient to get it. Now, email or text, instant, free, easy. When I was growing up, tomatoes were usually tasteless, apples too sugary like the so-called delicious, but they were really too sweet peaches mealy, not anymore, whether you buy them at a farmer's market or at a good supermarket like my favorite Trader Joe's. At work, you had to take the time to get dressed for success, slog through rush hour traffic or mass transit sardining, and then sit in a uh, sterile office, often with an authoritarian boss. Now, in one of COVID's few silver linings, many people get to work at least part of the week in the comfort of their home and with a boss who tends to be more respectful than bosses in earlier times. Relationships are better too. Partners are viewed more as equals rather than one sex being you know, dominant over the other. LGBT couples are ever more accepted and divorce, which used to require hard to prove concrete grounds, have, has given way to respecting when a couple decides it's time to split. While many divorces are still fought by lawyering up, Increasingly, a mediator yields a wiser settlement while avoiding a lot of the pain and expense. In total, of course, for many people, life's pretty bad. But even for most of those people, there are legitimate bases for gratitude that are too easy to forget. I'm hoping that this little talk's list will make it easy to remember those. Uh, anyway, I thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like you to hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.